What is up guys and girls, Hurricane Liz here. In this video, I guarantee you it's gonna be a really exciting video. I'm not only gonna show you a tool that I've not ever seen anyone talk about that will tell you exactly which keywords are driving sales on Amazon, but I'm gonna show you how to use it and how powerful this information is. It could drastically change the entire course of your money making on Amazon. So I'm super fired up for this video. I hope you're fired up. Let's do this. All right, people, so we're gonna talk about this super secret tool here that uh, nobody's talked about. In fact, the only reason I know about this tool is because it's always talked about in one of the masterminds that I do run, and this is a $15,000 per person mastermind, so you do wanna pay close attention to what I'm gonna show you here. Now, before we even jump into the tool, I need to explain a couple of definitions to you, and I know this is gonna go over a lot of people's heads. Hell, it even went over my head multiple times. I sat in a $15,000 a ticket person mastermind and heard people present this multiple times and it still just went over my head until finally I sat there and I said, I'm gonna get this, it can't be that complicated. And finally when I sat and listened, I figured it out and it was very enlightening. So I'm gonna jump into something I rarely jump into here, a slideshow. Oh, here we go. So we're gonna talk about how PFR is greater than SFR. And you might be wondering like, Liz, what are you talking about? What is all this scientific mumbo jumbo you're talking about? It's, I know it sounds crazy, but just listen up. I'm gonna lay it out for you in layman's terms. So just understand that Amazon hides most of their data. They don't want you to know this. And this is how they've been able to dominate the private label market by launching all of their products in the categories and in the niches that absolutely crush it. So this is why they sell the real shit that sells well right? They're not picking the bad stuff. They look at their data. They keep that data for themselves. They hog it up and they're happier than pigs and shit because all they're doing is creating products for the absolute top keywords on their whole site. And they know what keywords these are. And that's why there's these two different, I, I don't even know what to call them. I'm not smart enough to know that, but let's talk about this brand analytics. You guys have seen me use this in the past to show you some keyword data for all, for some of the keywords that we look up. And we're going to see that here, this is in 2019. This thing's been around for quite some time and it really doesn't matter what was number one. Then any product that has an search frequency rank of one means it is the most searched for product in all of Amazon. In this particular instance, that product was Bluetooth headphones, AirPods, not far behind. It is of four wireless earbuds and headphones two and three so all that basically means is that these keywords are very searched for on amazon people are searching for them like a mofo and they are probably or more than likely selling however we don't know that because all that search frequency rank tells us is how much they are being searched for that's it that's all it's telling us so let's now talk about what it means and this is the nerd term so get your nerd glasses on people this is what sfr is it is reminiscent of Amazon's bestseller rank or BSR, which you all should know what that means, in that it calculates the popularity of one keyword relative to keywords around it. This means that the keyword with an SFR of three is more popular during the given time frame than a keyword with an SFR of five. Amazon does not provide the number of searches for a particular keyword, but the relative rank is still very helpful. All this is saying in layman's terms is that Amazon's not divulging any real data, but they're at least giving you something called SFR that tells you relatively how well it's doing compared to other keywords. It doesn't give you numbers. It doesn't give you amount of true searches per month or any of that, but it's just at least giving you some indication of what does well on Amazon. Now, again, this is for things that are being searched for, and that's going to be a really important factor as we continue to move along. Now, the next thing is a PFR, and this was actually coined by one of my partners that I was partners with in the mastermind. Now, PFR is a reminiscent of Amazon's bestseller rank and that it calculates the popularity of one keyword relative to keywords around it. This means that the keyword with the PFR three is more popular during the given time frame than what keyword with the PFR five. Amazon does not provide the number of purchases for a particular keyword, but the relative rank is helpful. Now, again, the difference between this and search is this means that people are not only searching for this term, but also purchasing the product that coincides with what they choose and this term. So if something shows a PFR three, it means that it's driving a heck of a lot more sales than something with a PFR five. So that is the big difference between purchase frequency rank and search frequency rank. And the purchase frequency rank talks about purchases, real purchases that people have made. So this metric is something that is rarely used out there. A lot of people don't even know that it exists, 
but it is very real and it provides very real results. And we can see here that this was a keyword search term report done for the keyword soap dispenser. And you can notice that 26% of the PFR keywords are in the top 60 SFR meaning that they're the top 60 among search frequency rank. So this is just an example of one of those. We're not going to really talk about this. This was just already in the presentation. The most important part is that we now know what PFR and SFR are, and that is where this tool comes in. So first we're going to look at brand analytics. I have searched for the keyword Sudoku, and you're going to notice that Amazon immediately spits out the SFR and a bunch of these products, right? And if we scroll up a little bit, I chose a monthly date range. So this is how it performs monthly. You can change this to weekly and or quarterly, but I just chose monthly. And as we see along the bottom of this, we're gonna see that 40,000 means it's a lot more popular than 41,000 and therefore a lot more popular than Kids Sudoku at 769,000. So the big question is how accurate are these if you wanted to try and rank for them? Should you be trying to go for every single one of these keywords? Well, here's the thing, there is no other any other tool out there that is a paid tool that you guys have available at your fingertips to be able to give you this SFR to begin with. So that's a big disadvantage because you're going to have to rely on things, a keyword search tools that are out there. And most of those keyword search tools are merely guesstimating what the real volume is. They're all just guesses. They really don't know the amount. They're making an educated guess, but brand analytics is the best thing you can get. However, you do need a brand registered product and or brand to be able to get this data available to you. However, there is one secret tool and this is the tool it's called signalytics. So my affiliate link is below for signalytics and it's not cheap people. You get five reports are $99. However, I'm going to show you how impactful this can be to your business. So all that you'll need to do, is once you're at the home screen, you'll need to click on the PFR and then you'll have to hit new PFR report. Uh, when you do that, you'll name it, you'll check off here and you'll create new PFR report. It's going to take you to this particular screen that asks you to enter as many ASINs as you want. I would shoot to enter at least 50 ASINs. I would uh, just copy and paste them as I did right here. I copied and pasted them right here. I copied it up and then I went on over and I pasted them and then I hit add and then I hit find keywords and it began to find all these keywords and here are the items that I selected. You'll notice that there's 36 different books. Now I could have been a little bit more specific. I just went with the broad term Sudoku, but you could have done something like gone with Sudoku for adults or Sudoku for kids and then re been really specific with the books you picked out. For example, you could have just specifically picked out the ones for kids or specifically picked out the ones for adults. I just grabbed as many of them I could. That way I could make this video. So I grabbed 40. I had four duplicates. I removed those. I put these 40 in here and right down here, it pulled these keywords. And now here's some important data about these. Here is what it shows. The keyword Sudoku has 90 popularity and I don't really pay too much attention to this stuff. What I go ahead and pay attention to is the daily sold as well as the PFR. So again, there's the PFR. It also has the search volume, the real search volume, and the PFR is a one, which means this is an insanely popular word, right? But here's the crazy part. You would imagine that since this is Sudoku, that the next keyword would have the word Sudoku in it, and that is the keyword that has a two SFR, a two PFR. That keyword is puzzle books for adult. So if you were using something like brand analytics, you would never see that. Uh, it would be backwards, it'd be, or it'd be a little mixed up. It'd be Sudoku puzzles for adults. That shows a 41,000 SFR. But going back here, it is a two PFR. So that means that this generates the second most sales for all these different books that we've seen up here. So remember, the more books you add, the merrier. I would shoot for probably about 200, but I did 40 just for the sake of this example. And as we scroll down, here we have Sudoku Puzzle Books is third. Uh, Sudoku Misspelled is fourth. However, if we go back to Brand Analytics, the misspelling, I don't even see it here. Let's see if we can even find it. It is here, so let's see where exactly it falls. Um, it's not pop popping up, so I don't even know that it's on this list and it's not. So what that's saying here is that it wouldn't even come up yet. The misspelled version is number four PFR, meaning that it is doing pretty well. So that is more or less an example of how 
well this tool works. And again, it's largely going to depend on which books you select. So the more the merrier. One thing you'll note here is, all right, Liz, so this one sells 12 daily. How come it has a four PFR compared to this one right here that has 18 PFR? Well, the reason for that is again, it's because of the products that you picked. So since I only picked these 36, it is very specifically gathering the data from these 36 problems alone. So if you want the most pos the most accurate assessment that you can get, I highly encourage you put at least 200 or so books in this list. So that is a quick rundown of how this tool works. Again, my link to get this is below and five reports will cost you 99, which now come to think of it, it's like $20 a report. It's very worth it considering if you have a bunch of books in a niche and it's definitely something that uh, some people might find it expensive, but if you're in this to make a great deal of profit, this is what you're going to need to do to be able to take your business to the next level. And the great thing about this is it gives you quite a few keywords and you'll notice that this is, this is a lot of keywords. So questions, comments below. I always personally answer those and I'll see you guys next time.